Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a PM or personal message command. It's pretty much the same thing as like, it's like the same thing as like you're doing like a server message, but like it'll be a little UI that kind of slides onto your screen and then like with a message. And you're only sending that message to one particular player, like one specific player. So it's always called a personal message. But yeah, I already have it made, so let's get straight into it. So first things first, I guess you could just do the UI. So you want to insert a screen GUI into a starter GUI and name it personal message GUI. You then want to insert a text label and call it personal message text label. I put a UI corner, but uh, you don't have to put that if you don't want to. Um, and then you you can leave the text label visible as well as leave the UI enabled and stuff. Leave the text blank and stuff like that. Y'all can customize whatever you want. Then set the position to negative 0 0.2 and then uh, and then you guys, you guys can change that if you want to, but the, this is what I have it as. Negative 0 0.2 pretty much has it where it's like, it's it's off screen, but it's like right there to the left. Like as soon as it like slides over just a little bit to the right, you like you, a player will see it. And that's all you're going to do for the UI. Then head on over to service group service and insert a script or a service script. Then you want to make a table and stuff, local allowed users, put your username and whoever else you want to be able able to use this command then the two functions uh, when a player joins and then when they talk we need to first make sure that the player uh, player's name matches a name that's within the allowed users table and then we're going to split up the message and then if the first word the player says is colon pm then we're going to get all the players then pretty much if um if one of the one of the player's name matches the second word, which should be the player's username, that the person who uses the command would uh, put right there, then it will split. It will pretty much split the message and stuff. It'll take the entire message and then it'll remove the first argument and second argument, which pretty much if you don't understand what that means, it would remove the colon PM, that's argument one, and then it would remove the username. So all the person is seeing is the actual message itself rather than the command and then their username and stuff and then we would update the text label and stuff by getting the player's uh, UI and then changing the text to uh, to the name of the variable first right and then make sure you do bracket too because the thing is the thing is it's splitting it so it splits it pretty much into two different strings so pretty, so pretty much string dot split returns a table and stuff and then if you try to obviously set a text to a table it's obviously going to give you an error because that's not possible and stuff so you want to do the second one because the first will be blank and the second will have the actual text then i'm tweening it so that it slides from the left to the right kind of like a notification type of thing and yeah so i get the tween service um i reference the text labels then uh i fill out the tween info i wanted it to be done in a second uh using style linear you guys can change this if you want you can change it by the way but yeah then position uh this is the position you want it to be at you want to set this to zero so that it slides out then uh you want to set it to negative 0 0.2 so it slides so it slides back out or it slides off screen i guess is a better way to put it and then you and then the way you want to have a way in between because you obviously want to give player the player a chance to you know read the message and stuff before the mess uh before the message disappears so yeah, go ahead and click play, and let's test it. If I do colon pm spyj19, this is a test message. Yep, it slides on the left. This is the test message, and then after five seconds, it will slide back. There you go. And like I said, if y'all want, if y'all probably should make this longer, not even gonna lie, because it's not really a lot of time to really read a message, especially if it's like a sentence or two. Y'all probably make this like 10, 15 seconds, but yeah. And stuff, you can change the weight, it doesn't really matter. As always, the script will be in the description. I, I stay forgetting to say that in some video. Like, I be forgetting to, I know if you watch my videos regularly, I know y'all be hearing, like, I be forgetting to say certain things. Like, I may forget to, like, say, like, oh yeah, Discord is in the description. Oh, yeah, like I just be freaking shit. But anyway, um, as always, the script will be in the description if I need to reference it. Links to join my Roblox group in Discord can be found in the description. Stuff. So appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you guys as well for 950 subscribers. Uh, I just hit 900 yesterday, and we already on the way to a thousand. About to get into thousands, and I appreciate every single one of y'all. But if you're watching this, it's like, 
I just like probably like mid June, mid to end to the end of June. I'm recording this and like June just started, but like yeah, it's probably so. Oh yeah, I hope everybody's having a good summer break and everything. And yeah, but yeah, I'll see you guys though. Thank you for watching.